India's victory over Australia in the ongoing ODI brings back old memories. The famous innings of the ODI against Australia in the 2001-2002 series in Pune, where he scored his maiden century, is what our today's personality is most famous for. Hemang Kamal Bandari, who, despite being dropped from the ODI team in 2004, continued to keep the passion for the sport alive in his life. I would say the day starts pretty early for most of us uh, because we start practice by about 6, 6.30 at the most so you kind of leave home by about half, half past 5. So you kind of wake up at 5 and then you get your routines in the morning and then you get in the car, drive back, get into your uh, sessions and you, so you start at 6 and you, you go on for about a good 3 hours. You finish by say 9 o'clock and you have a hit and hit in the sense that you have batting practice and you have a bit of fielding practice. You, if some guys bowl, they also bowl. In my case, I don't bowl much, so that doesn't really happen much. But otherwise, you also bowl. So basically, it's a good three-hour session that happens in the morning. Then you wind up by about 9, 9.30. You, you, uh, you cool down. You uh, get back home by about, say, 10, 10.30. Breakfast time, have a, have a meal, have a, maybe a snooze for an hour or so. You get into your gym uh, by about 12, 12.30. Then get back to practice again in the evening, which starts at about 3 again as we did today. Which will again get over by about 6 and uh, again another 3 hour session of batting bowling practice. You also do a bit of drills as in if you ironing out a few uh, errors, ironing out a few issues in your batting bowling, you kind of work particularly on that. At 37, he is still at his fittest. Well, I have, I have a son who's about 11. Uh, we've been married for, for about uh, 13 years now, and I still do live with my parents, uh, my mom and dad, me, my son, and uh, my wife. It's about five of us at uh, at home right now. Is he also an aspiring cricketer? Well, that he does have the inclination towards the sport, but uh, you know what? I'm not someone who believes that. Okay, you know what? I've played, so he also has to play. If it's there in him, if he wants to play, if he has the hunger. And if he has the skills, he will. I'm there to help him, yes. I'm there to guide him, I'm there to give him the right direction. But I'm not a parent who would say, you know what, you have to play cricket. To me, he's probably one of the two players who's uh, been supreme heroes to me. The, uh, one is Prasen Pahaji and the next is Rahul Dravid. I mean. Like many other sports persons who have been forgotten after their retirement, Hemang Mandani is forgotten too. Yet, he strives to prepare the aspiring cricketers to become the future Team India and also manages to keep his enthusiasm alive. With camera person Binjal Shah, this is Abhishan for ACJ News.